Alright, so first so good and take a take a wait your wait ya tambula officially to get in the started so to know the Oklahoma at least um na Uganda or yeah abada itamobilo ebi munga tafunye chia kuria at least katagenda kubira ko chia take a elio rubuto na we turn is over the ate mungu jana beda ya kubanga ina kuwa imiri de Oklahoma ti Oklahoma bo bera usomu bere yonku saba tigwe we na anafu na mukta na na kumere no. Uh, labels kwe zili wu nchi nyo emere no tretu hundiwa echo chila mbikidua a government nti emere no teina kugenda katari wuna wuna kubira nge tundula so toke mewa mganda wanga wenzo kubo inaka duka hako mwaya gala toko wa temere no kujiteka mudo kari ofune mwaka sento wulu so wenzo kubira wanga wine chetago echila la echi kweta gisa sente na yengo laba anti option ina kubira ngo tunda mere no wami toke mewa toke mewa kwe just kweze sa mere yo mwambira yo na gojo ulira joso kubira ngo jukoze sa e kuyambe mchisela chino ente kateke no e kule mbedua mo honorable prime minister wigwanga uganda cabinet ministers haba kuatibuwa kusonga eno yenyini uh, then a uh, KCCA a uh, top generals wakufa maje uh, sakone police uh, so kulaba nti emele eno etuka safely edhi bulimundu akuatibuwa ko kumbele eno jivagiza ko kubela nga badu kilira ovulamu waba ntu kumbu muna yuganda nga alimulamu mumbele yona yona nga umulaba etambula na inga nyongira okutusa edubos edhi ababa china ukusobozo wenja ulungo jeko government ababa wade omukisogo kulaba nti emele yu mjireta ni mjikuasa atimu eno ya ya tele duwa o kula banti yo e jonge la yo eri abantu wabaga gavinja ulu mwena 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 mbako wola waliwo uh, allegations as cha tambla nti waliwo wabaga gavata nso kuja on board uh, ukuli omukulu ham chigundu uh, tulie to find out uh, then omukulu uh, sulaiman kawanga la mbuga na ye chigambi wa ali mwombele ilo la banti na ye ye gata kuwa yo emele e, kubira nge tuka ili ya banti so tuli, uh, tuli mwombele ili ndi ili okula banti ye na anavayo fetugenda kubira nga tumutegeza igwanga diwele nga limo manya cause omutima omuga visigu wa buli omu and why not wabia nga wali yo o ya soko ndo kwele keleza tuwela tuino kubira nga tumweba za public ya yungiru kubira nge manya ti ono ye ya imirira nafe mokasera weka so kasera kakugaba uh, mere so goma nchi ogendo kola mo mere ugwa na haba ajifunye obona ajifumba mugu uji obona ajifumba mugu kawunga cha misana chini obona ajifumba anga mu ebilobi satu obona ajifumba ebijanjaro uh, nubi kola anga <laughs> simanyi mbeda mbinyo na inga tuvele inga tuesa vila tuja kwa anga tujivu onoka my great pleasure <laughs> on behalf of his excellence the president government and the people of Uganda to launch the food distribution program that is starting with right. dealing with the vulnerable people in Kampala and this day we are going to Waise where we are going to start the exercise and the rest of Kampala uh, will be handled within the next uh, few days. We would like as many of you as possible to support this program and indeed the reason why this program has been put in place is to respond to those who have been badly hit, badly impacted by the measures taken by government in order to stop the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. And these are people who have been earning daily money to feed themselves. And because of restricted movement, they cannot do so. And yet, they must continue to live as respectable Ugandans. So this is a response by government to that vulnerable group. And we know the vulnerable group is not only in Kampala. Uh, there are other uh, areas as well. Government is looking at them, but because of the urgency of the matter, we have deliberately decided to start with Kampala because it has got the highest concentration of these vulnerable people. The focus, the focus will be also on making sure that the elderly, the sick, and the pregnant women are 
taken into account. And by the way, the food is going to be distributed uh, house to house, door to door. Door, to door. door to door, door to door, and there should be no lining at all. There should be no crowding at all. As soon as there is any semblance of crowding, food distribution will stop. So I appeal to all those concerned to be disciplined and to make sure that this food distribution exercise does not cause the spread of the pandemic, of the virus, but on the contrary, helps to bring it to a permanent end. All of us have a responsibility, have a role to play, to educate, to sensitize, and to lead by example of making sure that we respect social distance, which is being violated by quite a number of the media. <laughs> That's why we should really quickly disperse. Journalists don't care. Yes. And please take the take heed of what His Excellency the President and the Honorable Minister of Health and medical teams have been telling you, always washing your hands with soap, using sanitizers. The two are complementary. Make sure you keep the social distance. Make sure you avoid any overcrowding. If there is a suspected person who you think may have a problem, handle him or her well and let advise him to approach the people uh, concerned, that's the health sector. In the case there is a question mark, ask the leaders, LOC leaders and the chiefs will be able to help in such a situation. Finally, let us discuss. Uh, Ndugu Musa, you must have some quick guidelines that you want to give out and to summarize how food is going to be distributed. We would like absolute transparency, absolute accountability, and anybody who tampers with accountability or who tampers with transparency will be provoking the wrath of the law to take its course. Dugumusa. Right, Honorable, like you correctly guided, I don't think there is anything to add. The, the truth is that we are now flagging off. We are test running this exercise today in Guaise. Why test run? Because it has never like run right on over, it has never happened anywhere like this before, where relief distribution is handled by our partners, the security forces, and, and all the other groups. So it is going, I can assure the country that there will never be crowding because the arrangement is such that door to door like you have correctly emphasized and that is going to be emphasized to the letter. So Mr. Prime Minister, without wasting a lot of time, I am happy that you have come with all these distinguished leaders to flag this off first deputy, Secretary General of the party and all the generals who are here. General. Of all the political parties, I am so happy that you have been here to witness this very noble intervention. Mr. Prime Minister, we are sending this to Buaise. We are loading in the afternoon for some of the orphanages because they are critically in need, the orphanages within Kampala and, and, and Wakiso area. We'll again invite the media, not in this big number, but to break themselves into smaller groups so that they can give adequate coverage to all these interventions. Mr. Prime Minister, I want to commit the office that this will succeed. This will succeed. I thank you so much. And I, and I want thank to you so much. Point. Two additional remarks. Hospitals in Uganda. All the hospitals are going to be covered by the food distribution. All the hospitals in the country are going to be covered by this food. And uh, all the orphanages. And orphanages as well. And uh, barracks will be also covered. So, uh, on that note, Yes, we are. Guys, it's my guys. great pleasure. Guys, the quantities and other details, Mr. Cheru will give them to you. Mr. Cheru is in charge. The overall 
person who is in charge is going to be you know, any to make sure that there is a maximum coordination. So, Yeah. 